All right, welcome back to Deep Speak with Brother Sadiq. Um, you are in the house today. We are uh, on location at, at Brother Sadiq's house. So today you're dealing with Sadiq and Sadiq. All right, so here's is with a T, mine is with an S, S A D I Q. T Z A D I K. Okay, all right, so you got Sadiq and Sadiq in the house today, and we are on location uh, at his home uh, from his office, his space of work. And so today we are going to be continuing with our interviews um, with the foundational members that are related to uh, my brother's library incorporated and the programming that we intend to bring to the people. So as I mentioned, we'd be doing interviews with the uh, individuals who are foundating members and um, giving some insight into their character. So, um, you know, I won't I won't waste too much time. We're going to get into this. Uh, the brother's already ready. He's seen some of the questions, so we won't take long. Um, give us a little uh, shout out, maybe a thumbs up and share the video. OK, get involved. All right. So I appreciate that. Um, also, peace, prosperity, love and light. <laughs> Always. Always. Yes, sir. All right. So um, question number one, sir, and this won't take long. Like I said, um, how did we meet? You know, I was looking at that question, and I was like, how to deal with me? I know that we both pretty active in the community. I remember my earliest thought is seeing you sitting outside the, uh, the gas station over there on the north side of Bloomington, Indiana. You out there selling your oils. <clears throat> and uh, But we met before that, though, but I, it was just, we just kind of met in passing. Okay. It wasn't anything really, uh, you so know. A black man, what's up? Yeah, you know, I mean, especially out here in Bloomington, when I see black face, I'm like, yeah, it can be swipe. I don't even like it. I see a black face, I'm like, oh, yeah. that's that. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, so, right. so it was, it wasn't nothing real, you know, uh, based on like what we got now. You right. Know, so it was just something in past. I remember getting your number and whatever. I probably got your number probably two, probably two times. One time I seen you out there, like I said, selling your oils, and I was just going to the store. You right. Know what I'm so it wasn't, it wasn't nothing. On the man's level, I had no idea when I first met you, really, to be honest, that you were uh, as conscious and as focused as you are. Mm -hmm. I will say that. So I know for a fact that it wasn't on like this type of platform that we met. Right. Because it wasn't until this whole MBL thing, mm -hmm. actually, that I was like, this brother, this brother dope. I definitely want to stay connected. So okay. it was just casual. Okay. You know? Okay. All right. Well, um... Yeah, I remember that. I remember that meeting. I think we, uh, I think we kicked it a little bit, and we built a little bit, and we found out we both from Detroit and mm -hmm. had some roots and some, some, some such and suches together. So yeah, I think that's how I remember that meeting going as well. Both, both from Michigan, I'm from Kalamazoo. Kalamazoo there Michigan. you go, Michigan. Yeah, there both you go. Definitely from Michigan. No doubt. And it's crazy too because when you first saw me from Detroit, because. Yeah, I know your sons were from, from Michigan, well, your name being, you know, they call you Flint. Right. I was thinking Flint, Michigan. Right, right, right. I right. Think, but I knew it was both from Michigan, nonetheless. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, actually, um, my sons are, uh, I guess you could say they're more from here and South Bend. Okay. Yeah, um, they lived in South Bend for a number of years and grew up mainly here. So, gotcha. yeah, between those two cities, that's where they're from. But, yeah. Um, so, for the record, man, me and this brother, I mean, we got an amazing report, but as you can see, we still get to know each other, too. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So we that's build, what it, we build that's exactly what it's about. We build it. No. So it's about building community and uh, no, no, that's no. how we do it, you know? That's how we do it. And uh so, um what is your position in the NBL offices? I'm the secretary, man, you know, uh it's a humbling position too, because uh, you know, you don't see many men, you know, uh secretary don't sound like an honorable position, but I mean I I'll I'll take it to heart. You know, uh, I'm serious about my role on um, any organization or anything that I'm a part of, mm -hmm. you know, so, uh, you know, I accepted the role of secretary for M MBL with honor, you know what I'm saying? And I seek to carry out my duties on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, week, week in, week in, week in, week out, yeah. day in, day out, you know, uh, so I'm the secretary for MBL. And I'm going to say this, um, he's very appreciated because he keeps everybody involved on their toes. Um, uh, I also like that the brother also uh, will bring a contrary view, not always contrary, not even conflicting, but an alternate view to mm -hmm. give you concepts that you didn't think about in relation to some of the programming and the ways that we're moving and how we're building this. So the brother is very valuing it, va valuable in his position and he's very much appreciated. So um, there we go. Um, question number three, um, what and how does MBL um, spark you and what makes you want to be a member of the MBL Foundation? 
I looked at that question, man, it's, it's, it's a lot. Um, I mean, for one, like I said, you know, coming to the realization that, you know, you, the uh, the um, the founder uh, of this organization, man, is very conscious and, and just your, your playing your mindset and things that you want to do, mm -hmm. you know, for our children in this community and, you know, all existing communities, you know what I'm saying, realizing that we are all one large community, right? So... That's that's uh, that's my vision, <clears throat> you know. It's been my vision even before I came in contact with my rabbi, you know, who who uh, kind of nurtured that vision in myself. Mm -hmm. And you know, meeting another man, you know, saying and dare I say, black man, you know, saying with them same goals, same same ambition, same mindset, and then <clears throat> also having you know um, five other brothers, you know, what I'm saying with with, with like minded, just like minded, you know, what I'm saying yeah. like what wouldn't attract you to an organization. Of like mindedness, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm all about building, all about making connections, you know. And uh, NBL is definitely a, 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 a excellent man. I'll dare I say, um, becoming a perfect way to, to make connections, you know what I'm saying, within the organization and outside the organization. Mm -hmm. So, uh, um, what keep me going, man, just you know, just the energy of each and every member, you know, um, of this organization, man, the roles that we've selected and you know, that we have. And just uh you know desire to be with one another. Yeah. You know, I see a lot of passion, you know, in the brothers, man, in the organization, the dedication, the devotion, showing up to the meetings, you know what I'm saying, whether it's virtual or in person, you know, with the whole, you know, COVID thing yeah. going on, you know, yeah. we have to diversify sometimes. So but but yeah, man, it's a lot. It's a lot about I mean, you know, even the uh I keep this right in front of me all the time, man, you know, you know, just the moral standard that, that that is set by the organization, man. You know, the mission statement, the vision statement. Well, you know, I, I, I would I would love for you to read that, or I can read it. I don't either way, um, because I don't know. Like what I what I did yesterday on the first interview, and basically, I will read this. I'll read yeah. this because um, the the idea and the vision behind the program, our flagship program, is the Big Share, which is Self Help Apprenticeship Rewards Exchange. It's an acronym. And the goal is to be able to help our youth uh, find their natural gifts and aptitudes and skills as early as possible. Mm -hmm. And then to just pile on nurturing and as many wisdom, uh, with wisdom carrying individuals who, who we can put into their circle. And so um, real quick, I'm going to read the mission statement, uh, which is my brother's library exists to inspire the youth with a creative approach to education, self-development and neighborhood restoration. The goal is to reduce the staggering number of inner city youth who fail to thrive or are at risk of dropping out of the current school systems. We aim to increase the number of college graduates being produced by the public school systems in the regions, ultimately bringing new life to the urban community. So that is the mission statement. So as you see, we are on a mission and we got we got some solid souls that's that's doing this work. So um, and this is the vision. I'm going to just read this real quick and, and then actually what he spoke of leads into the next question. Um, the vision, our purpose and mission are accomplished through the implementation of programs that impart the value of literacy by strategically positioning those who already exert a major influence on the target group to inspire hope and renewed enthusiasm concerning education. Involving our community youth and neighborhood restoration programs to instill a sense of pride as well as to improve community relations and help students improve their education beyond the classroom. So that is the purpose of why we come together every Sunday and whenever we come together, that is the goal. And so um, that is something that I think could be shared outside of just the black community. And that is ultimately the vision to take this global. Uh, of course, we want to start at uh, the local community, um, those who are left out, those who are in the least position to have that help. And so that seems to be uh, the, the poor and underprivileged American black, uh, you know, and poor whites. And so there we go. Um, with that being said, um, he mentioned something about his rabbi, and that is the next question. Um, what was your most significant steps that led you in the direction um, to know your religion, to discern that you were um, Hebrew or you, you, you could have been a Christian or a Muslim or, or whatever other religion that the world may hold? What, what was significant and, and how did you know that was uh, what your spirit was calling you towards? Uh, life experiences, man. Um, just... Uh, you know, I wouldn't even say that it was my in and out of intellectual circles, 
or you know coming in contact with spiritual people man it was just you know my own personal life experiences mm -hmm. um you know basically evolving from the streets you know incarceration um um single parent household i mean just just everything everything that made me you know the man i am mm -hmm. so uh i have to i have to say you know life experiences and just just growing up and just encountering different people and stuff like that i will give some credit to the intellectual circles that i've been in you know different uh, men and women that i've sat down with conversated with um but you know um, ultimately you know in, in addition to a big addition to just the uh the life experiences just the tugging on my heart mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying um i am that's um, exactly what I was before you said it. It was I was thinking it, bro. Like, yeah. what 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 tugged you? Because yeah. that's exactly it's the tugging on your heart, and yeah. you know what's for you. And yeah. so, so that's a good. You do. I mean, it's just the, the knowledge and available information, man. And you know, just the path that you know um, that the Most High has placed my my feet on, um, for me to walk. You know, limiting my choices mm -hmm. to this or that. You know what I mean? And ultimately coming to this conclusion that you know, um, I'm I'm deeply rooted in uh in the Hebrew uh culture. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that's that's what it's causing a lot, you know, um, in, in most places, you know, just Hebrew roots is getting back to my roots of things, you know, um, studying how my ancestors lived, you know, and uh, the things that they did, how they did it, how they, how they praised and worshiped God, mm -hmm. you know, um, and how we just acknowledged him and made him a center of our, of our existence. Right. You know, um, you know, without a president necessarily, without a king, you know, um, we was one of the only nations in history, you know, um, at, at the time, coming out of, you know, Egypt and all of that stuff as it's written in the scriptures, you know what I'm saying, um, that, you know, we had, you know, the Most High, the Creator Himself as King, as President, as the head of our nation, the center of our existence. So, uh, it's just those stories. Right. And, uh, you know, the illustrations of those stories, man, and how they were conveyed to me, um, even coming up through, like I said, you know, from the streets to incarceration to, you know, um, being in a single parent household to, uh, um, you know, um, Christian Christianity. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I learned a lot about that. I, in fact, you know, I don't bash. I'm not a Christian basher. Of course, you know of I, course. I, I definitely appreciate um, the fact that they introduced me to the idea, the concept of a creator or quote unquote God. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, um, uh, you know, Christianity hasn't totally failed me. You know, um, <laughs> I, I, I came through that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I, I appreciate. That they that they have a platform that's so renowned as it is, you know what I'm saying, in America and throughout the world, man, that actually introduced me to the concept or the idea, like I say, of you know, something better than myself. Right, right. Well, let me ask you, because um, you know, um, I think the path that most of us take is similar in a lot of ways, you know, mm -hmm. though we may end up in a different spot. Um, ultimately our our intention is to serve that most that most high right oh, and so um like in 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 your time as um you know even on your path before you chose where you are is there a uh, significant like spiritual experience that stands out like some you know mystical or what they might say auspicious event that happened like oh this is definitely you know it's outside of the regular norm you know what i mean any of those that, that you want to share or are you comfortable sharing? <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, me, I'm, I'm comfortable sharing whatever. I'm an open book. Um, nothing really comes to mind, man, other than, you know, just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm an intellectual, mm -hmm. you know, um, you know, and I don't necessarily always have to do what makes sense, but, uh, you know, I like when things do, Yeah. you know, and um, it's just, you know, it was, I don't know, I, I, I can't credit it, I can't narrow it down to just one major happening, man, but there are several um, yeah, just like some what 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 someone outside of 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 the spiritual language would say, oh, that was some spooky shit. You know what I mean? I, I, any of those, any like you know spooky I've had, I've scenarios. Had, I've had just... those more, <laughs> you use that exact term. But, yeah, you know what you I mean. Know, like, bro, that's crazy. You know, like, yeah. Bro, honestly, nothing really comes to mind, man. For me, it was just natural occurrences, man. I mean, you know, when I when I read the scriptures, you know, um. Um, and you know, I just for clarity, when I say the scriptures, I'm referring to what is commonly referred to as the Old Testament. Okay. You know, that's what I refer to as the scriptures. I mean, even quote unquote New Testament writers, when they said the scriptures, that was exclusively what they meant. You know, the Old Testament. So 
Um, it was just, it was just, just natural happen, ha- happenings, man. You know, just, I, nothing really comes to mind as far as that one thing that just done it for me. Yeah, you know, yeah. So because you know, um, and, and, and it, and it, and it's, it, it's not directly related to oh, this let me know for sure. This is my religion. Just since you've been where you are, or or any time along that path, is there anything that that likes you know, like oh yeah, I remember this happened. That was that was. Yeah, that's significant. Again, I okay. know for a fact that those things have happened, but <laughs> why not one of those things come to mind? That's cool. You know, nothing comes to mind. And it's, and it's basically, like I said, man, just, you know, just following the path, man. I mean, it really ain't got, I mean, for me, uh-huh. it's not spooky. Yeah, it's, I agree. It's, I fully agree. Me, I fully agree. It's, it's, it's a natural part of the path. It's so, normal. so yeah, I you you expect certain things that, yeah, that you know, I mean, you know I, are outside I, of what, like I said, someone not on the path was be like, man, that's some spooky. Yeah, I've, I've, had, I've had that happen, you know what I'm saying? But for me, it's normal, it's natural, you know, and, you know, and I don't I don't use those terms lightly, man, because, you know, I feel like um, the overwhelming majority of society is living beneath yes, the, the line of norm. Yes, you know sir, so, I agree. I mean, people look at me like I'm some extravagant some extraordinary spooky yeah. man because of the type of stuff that I the level that I can communicate and stuff like that and, and the type of things that I, I speak on or study but or study yeah and then you know I'm in the presence of brothers like yourself and it's like this is a normal conversation for us yeah. you know what I'm saying like you know what I'm saying like other people somehow like man what the hell they talking yeah. about but this is normal for me so I feel like while I don't feel like I'm above normal um, I feel like I'm I'm just normal, but I mean, to to most people, I feel like it seems like you know, brothers like ourselves is above normal because there's a new norm. So yeah, I you fully agree. Saying? Um, I just want to expound on that too because um, there was a conversation I was having with uh, two who are older than me. Um, so I will call them my elders, and um, I was talking about compassion, right? Mm-hmm. Compassion just people, you know, having mm-hmm. compassion for somebody else. And um, the point came up to, you know, what you're talking about is almost considered a special gift anymore, right? You know, they even call it um, um, a uh, empath, right? You're considered an empath if you can feel someone else's pain who you don't know, mm-hmm. right? If you can... It, 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 uh, I guess emotionally or imaginarily put yourself in their position mm-hmm. and feel the pain that they would go through and then relate it and be able to heal or talk or re- relate something from yourself to them to heal them in some yeah. way. So that is considered empathic. And I didn't know that was considered empathic. I thought that was just human, right? I thought it was normal, right? I, I considered it normal. I thought everyone was like that. And they was like, no, bro, like, like what you were explaining is that the, the norm, like like you said, people can walk by people in the city, mug laid out on the street, they just keep it moving. I don't know him. You know what I mean? So is that is that the normal thing? That is normal in society. That is the new normal, but normal. that is not the human normal the range of, of emotion. So I think what you're saying and what I'm saying is that we are normal, but because the world has grown to be so far removed from compassion and human care for each other mm-hmm. that one who has compassion now seems abnormal. So that, that <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think, I think that's uh, something that I just recently learned over like the last couple of years, like, Oh, so most people, cause you know, I don't, my circle ain't very big, bro. Right. So, you know what I mean? And, and so I, I, I've, 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 you know, and it's for reasons, you know, everybody, you know, you know, you, you can't trust everybody. So, that's that, but I don't want to get too far off on the tangent. We I can I can I can wrap on I can wrap with that for I can wrap with that for a minute. So yeah, yeah, I know we I know we could. So um, okay, um, details or highlights on how you've reached your goal uh, and where you are or who you are and who you've become today. You know, Paradigm Inc. Man, Paradigm Logistics, brothers on the move. Um, you know, a major accomplishment for me. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, coming from where I come from, you know, uh, a lot of people was telling me that, you know, the trucking industry is too big for me and, you know, all of this and, you know, uh, you know, but I guess that was some people's way of motivating and encouraging. I don't know what the intentions were per se, but... Uh, well, you know, our people got a lot of fear, bro. They scared to make moves. And so we usually don't accomplish things, not because white people hold us down, mm-hmm. but because 
you scared to get your ass up and go downtown and say, well, I don't know how to do this. Could you tell me what I need to do and what I need to do after that? What's the first step in this process? And so because we are afraid to go and try things, we always self-defeat. We say, oh, that ain't going to work. That ain't going to work. Yeah. They ain't going to let me do that. They talk ourselves out of a good thing. And they will talk you out of it if you're weak enough to allow them. But that ain't who we got in this circle. So nah, <laughs> I'm no, sorry. So just go no, ahead no, and continue, no, sir. So, uh I don't know, man. You know, just like I said, man, everything is for me is it's it's natural. I mean, I just I just, you know, just self taught in a lot of things, man. You know, when I was in Crossroads, I studied business. Um, before I even had a Facebook page, I was studying Mark Zuckerberg and how he did it and what he did, you know what I'm saying? And and you know, when he went public and how much he sold his shares for, mm -hmm. you know, um while I was in Crossroads, I became a big fan of, of Steve Jobs, you know, okay. and stuff like that. I just I just studied stuff like that. I mean People, uh, most people who know me know I don't really do entertainment and stuff like that for real, man. I tip when I watch uh, TV. It's for educational purposes. Education. Yeah, I, agree. I, I don't care how fixing it is. Like I, 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 I admire stories, people, documentary of people in power. You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, it talk it teaches me how to run my company. Yeah. You know how to hire and fire somebody, and you know all all the things, man. You know what I'm saying? So. How I got here, man, it was, it was, it was something like, I, it don't, it don't seem to me like it's something extravagant or something. I mean, like, uh, you know, um, a couple of brothers, man, you know, these brothers, right here, man, you know, my brother, I don't know if they can see from here, you know what I'm saying? These brothers right here, man, they just pretty much, uh, they started a trucking company, uh, I don't know, seven, eight months ago or something like that man um leave my leave my boys you know one one had the mind for the truck industry or whatever right uh, or had 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 a, had a plan and wanted to get in the industry the other one had the finance finance to back it um you know they came to me one day like man we're gonna get this in my truck like you go ahead and buy you a box truck man and uh you know we can we can we can just have some work so you know what I'm saying we can get in this best line whatever we can see what what lows are available for you or whatever right like that's so I bought a box truck right you know it's for sale right now right uh, it might be sold tomorrow actually um and so long story short man they ended up uh, going out of business uh, about a month or two months two short months in operation they ended up going out of business mm. and but I was watching the operation I was seeing you know where I can learn from where I can prosper from and and you know stuff like that and you know stuff not to do stuff to avoid yeah and uh, I was like man you know what man I'm gonna pick up where y'all left off mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying and eventually I'm gonna bring y'all back into the fold okay know? um so like I said long story short man I I, I bought me a uh, 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 semi truck, and I know I make it sound like I just had the money on tap, but I didn't. Right. You know, I had to work, odd jobs. I had to do what I had to do. You know what yeah. I'm saying? To, to get to, to get what I got. So this is actually my truck. You know what I'm saying? That, that's that's my truck. Yeah. As you can see in the back, that says yeah. "Brothers on the Move," and that is the homepage for his trucking company. Yeah. So um, right move is the website. I consider it still under construction, man, because I've been running there, playing around, and messing things up from my original design. State stuff, that again for him. Freight, uh, freightbotmove.com. That's the website, man. Y'all can go on there, man. Um, eventually, I have applications and stuff like that, man. When I'm ready to hire, y'all can go on there, fill out the application, you know, freightbotmove.com, man. Okay, freightbotmove.com. I and mean, that's bot like robot, freight bot. Right, not yeah. box, bot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For sure. So yeah, man, I just you know, my house it up and got that little beauty right there, mm -hmm. man. Um, you know, just short version. And uh so it's been about it's going on six months now. Okay. It's been out there on the road. I sit here, man, I just I just pull up this just to remind myself of my accomplishment. I got my spreadsheets right yeah, there. Yeah, it's I'm, motivation. I'm looking at it's numbers, motivation. I'm looking at the numbers, you know, um the numbers that I did um in the last, you know, five my first five months, actually the last five months my first five months in the business. Right. And I've just been looking at these numbers and I'm seeing, you know, I'm seeing where I can improve. Yes, sir. You know, so I mean it's one thing to pat your back pat yourself on the back because of, you know, semi accomplishments or whatever, but uh -huh. I'd rather focus on rock and improve, man. So yes. that's, that's that's just where I'm at with it, man. So yeah. you know. And I think like I um <clears throat> I think that's one of the things that I, I say me and this brother share in common, right? Is the uh the necessity for self evaluation and improvement. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Right? Most if definitely. if you always working on uh being better than you were the day before or last week or last year, then there is no room for I'm bored. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's no room for, like, as you mentioned, entertainment. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know, entertainment is yeah. there, but if it's not educating you in some kind of way, it's also just a waste of time. Yeah. You know what I mean? So uh, somebody wrote a story out with a creative imagination and they put it on TV and you spend your days watching someone else's imagination, which is the TV show. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I fully agree with a lot of the ways that the brothers perception of uh, how we going to move and build and grow um, as you see they align. So. Um, is there anything that you might have wanted to add that I didn't bring up uh, to, before we get out of here? Man, just look out for us, man. Look out for Brothers on the Move. You know what I'm saying? Look out for MBL, my brother's library, that is. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Um, you, know, um, you know, there's other brothers, you know, in, the in, in our immediate circle, in our community, man, with businesses. Yeah. You know, we have a retiree <laughs> among us and stuff like that, man. You know, and we're just looking to do great things in very small ways, though. You know what I'm saying? Like my rabbi say, man, you know, uh, think big, start small. Yeah. You know, so we're just looking to be great in the most mediocre ways, man. You know what I mean? You know, just doing just doing simple things that other people may not be doing. You yeah. Know, just looking for creative ways to be great. Yeah. You know, and uh, you know, it takes time to build, it takes time to be great as an individual, let alone as moving as an organization and at, at, in a corporate mindset. It takes time, you know, like I said. Y'all seen in the beginning of this interview, me and the brother, we was, uh, you know, kind of kicking it you know, based on the questions he was asking me. We discovered some things about each other that we, we wasn't sure about or just didn't know, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. So building takes time, man. Yeah. And, you know, um, they say you never truly know nobody and stuff like that. You know, I let that kind of thinking go a long time ago, you know what I'm saying, because in, in spite of what I may or may not know about this brother, I know the essentials. You know, other man's heart, man. And like you said, we on the same page when it comes to building and stuff like that, man. So just look out for us, man. You know, we ain't gonna stop with this stuff. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna let nobody, you know, uh, tear down our infrastructure. We're gonna keep building one way or another. Yeah, so you know, as we learn and grow, you know, we earn them while we learning, man. You know, and I ain't talking about a paycheck, you know, because yeah. we still looking to get paid for what we're doing. We still look for that, but we just building. We just taking the, the raw material that we have, man, you know, um, and just just putting it out there, man. You know, just this little makeshift interview camera, this little roll, yeah. you know, uh, fundamental stuff, man. Y'all see this, man? We we looking to grow. Yeah. You know, so anybody who may be watching this, man, who may come in contact with this video, man, y'all reach out to us, man. You know, I'm um, sure y'all, if you know, if the brother haven't, maybe at the end of this video, he can uh, kick y'all his uh, email. Yeah, it's servant. Make servant this, underscore. Man. Yeah, S E R V A N T underscore O F. The number one at ymail.com. So servant underscore of one at ymail.com. Yeah, y'all get into it, man. Cause you know, we small topping right now, but like I said, we got a we got a a a, a, a group of great thinkers. You mm -hmm. know, people who can in fact make this happen. I mean, but we are we are rookies, man. We amateurs at this. I mean, and there's really no vet among us. Yeah. To be well, honest, you know. I'm gonna say this. The fact of the matter is what we're doing is 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 there is no vet. Yeah. Anybody doing this is gonna be a rookie. Yeah. Because it's not been done. So what we finna do is re elevate and educate our children based on some basics. You know, what is the human body you know, physiology. The human physiology hasn't changed, and so that should be part of elementary education. I just got a dope book on anatomy, too. Man. You know, yeah. You see what I mean? This is just, it's not going to change. That should be elementary education, right? I'm going to get into it nonetheless. Yeah, so we're talking about re-educating from the basics. You know, anatomy, your body, the physiology of it, how it all works, yeah. the the things that you eat. The life cycles. Yeah, you know, yeah, the things that you eat. Yeah, all of that. Now, once you know... Who you are, that's know thyself, right? You got that aspect. And then you know the environment that you created. And you know all the trees and plants and vegetables and animals that's in your state as part of your basic elementary education, right? That's two. And then the third is what we're doing now. And that's the big share. That's to dive into the personal spiritual development of the of the individual, right? What is, what is your personal uh, talent? And we're going to find that out and then we're going to nurture it and feed that. And so those are like the basic three moves of transforming the world. And yeah, it's going to start with a small group. Oh, yeah, man. But the goal is a global vision. And so we're not concerned with how fast it moves. We're concerned that it moves solidly and well-founded. So as you see, the brother's busy and the business is going. So I'm not going to slow him up. We're going to end this right here. So peace from Brother Sadiq and Brother Sadiq. So, 
Shalom. Shalom. One love.